Hello students. Um, today let's talk a little bit about how to write a journal. A journal is uh, very easy actually. It's just like keeping a diary. Um, do not be afraid when I ask you to write a journal. You know, writing a journal helps you to remember what the Bible passage is saying. And it also helps you to recollect where something you have learned is from and what verses or you know like the chapter speaks about what or which by writing a journal it also helps you to make use of the Bible that you've written for your own everyday you uh, lives <clears throat> you know writing a journal is uh, not to be taken very seriously in a sense it's not like an academic paper where you need to cite sources where you need to uh, you know look at others um, commentaries of course if you are stuck with certain words you need to look, look look up commentaries or dictionaries for you to be able to understand what the verse is saying but journal is more like a meditation, a contemplation of what the verse is saying. If you understand what the verse is saying uh, in English, you know, you read it and, and, and try to meditate on that verse till you understand what the verse is trying to say. And once you have done that, then you must think of how it can be applied to your lives, to your spiritual lives, and also to the border impact, you know, like the wider impact. How can I use this verse? Uh, to encourage other people you might think about that so there are, uh, even though you know it's not a very a very uh, a very serious academic approach nonetheless you must follow certain steps to write a journal and <clears throat> keeping a journal every day is also a very serious spiritual discipline which will help you even long after you have graduated from this college so there are only like I, I only ask you to to have three steps to write uh, to 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 understand the three steps that you need to write a journal and here as an assignment i am asking you to write um a journal on uh, john chapter one and chapter two so how should you go about this one okay now in a bible if you look at your bible you will see that the Bible, all the Bible verse, verses in the chapter itself, they are grouped into different headings. Okay, so for example, in for John chapter 1, verse 1, you have uh, till chapter 50, I mean verses 51. And in 1 John, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 headings, 5 small uh, subheadings. So often in writing a journal, it helps, you know, if you, you can do, you can do, you, you can follow certain, uh, any way you like, but I would suggest you that you, you pick those subheadings, those subheadings, because usually they, uh, these subheadings are separated in such a way that they contain an idea or thoughts. You can do the whole chapter one at one go. Or in one time you can do the whole chapter, but that will make it a bit difficult because there are certain thoughts there. And so you will need to write paragraph uh, to separate those thoughts. Rather, you write a journal, which is your own contemplation or meditation of the Bible verse. You take uh, chapter John chapter 1, and from verse 1, from verse 1 till uh, verse 18, the topic is, the word become flesh. The word became flesh. So you write number one, uh, John chapter one, verse one to eighteen. The word became flesh, and then you try to meditate on this. You try to meditate on this topic. Okay, you try to think, what is John writing here? Hmm. And then after you get it, you, you you after you think you have mastered or at least know about all this kind of uh, all the verses, explanation, you paraphrase it. Paraphrase, when we say paraphrase, it is not a direct citation or copy of the verse. 
No. But you write in your own words what these verses are saying, the information that you get from this passage. Okay, so for, let's take for an example, uh, John chapter 1, verse 19 to 28. This is another subheading. Here we have John the Baptist denies being the Messiah. So, you read carefully from chapter uh, to verse 19. Now, this was John's testimony when the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. And then he went on. And then in chapter uh, verse 28, you will find this all happened at Bethany on the other side of Jordan where John was baptizing. So as you read this, as you read this heading, contemplate on reading verse 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Uh, read carefully again and again. And then you, you think what this passage is talking about. And once you have... Once you've realized what this passage is talking about, then number two, John chapter 1 verses from 19 to 28. Jesus the Baptist denies being the Messiah. Hmm. And then you can write in your journal, this passage is talking about how John the Baptist, who was the cousin of Jesus, denying um, that he was the Messiah when other people asked him. So it seems there were lots of people who asked him who he was. They thought that he was the coming Messiah. And then John said, no, I'm not the Messiah. Okay, you're not quoting the verse anymore. No direct quotation. But you're just explaining or paraphrasing or writing in your own word what he's what is saying. And then, you know, you can even say John compares himself. Uh, when, when, he, when people started to realize, uh, when people started to compare John with Jesus, then John is saying, no, no, you should not compare me. You know, I am nothing ex uh, compared to him. I just baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with Holy, the Holy Spirit. I am so unfit that I am not even, uh, you know, worthy to untie his shoes. Hmm. Here, the Bible, the, the Bible simply says, sandals, you know, like I'm, 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 I'm not eligible, or let's say, uh, the straps of whose sandals I'm not worthy to untie, 27. But you don't need to write all those, uh, you can simply say, I am not fit to untie his shoes. That's a paraphrasing, okay? You're not repeating the exact words, but you're repeating the thoughts in your own words. So that is what I say paraphrase. So you should not write it a long paraphrase. Just maybe a paragraph with lines like 12 lines, 13 lines, till you finish the thoughts or till it satisfies you, okay? Then after that, after the paraphrasing, you have the application. Oh, no, oh yeah, what it means to you. If you cannot find application, then that means your reading of the Bible doesn't make sense to you, or you don't need it. Okay, but we all it, you have you need to have something like there has to be a, a purpose for your reading, a benefit for your reading. Here in this case, you can say um, John, <clears throat> like John when John started to compare himself to Jesus, John realizes uh, his worthlessness. His humility. Ah, oh, this thought really struck me. Who am I to Jesus? What am I to, compared to His, you know, glorious uh, salvation? Whenever we are, we compare ourselves to Jesus. We saw how small we are. Okay. So in the kind of things, it, the application is always there. Mm. And and just think, even John the Baptist was so popular with other people. Even the Pharisees, the Levites, they all come to him for baptism. But he is saying, even though he is very high, popular, but when he is comparing himself to Jesus, you realize, you know, his lowliness. Okay, so that, what it applies to me, should be the one. And then you have, a, after you find the application to yourself, often, you know, you, you, you need to, you, you will find something to say to other people, like your friends, or your classmates, or, or your families. Like when you have a devotion and you're starting... You started to realize, hmm, you know, just like we see John the Baptist uh, lowering himself when he compared to Jesus, we should also be humble when we see Jesus. Okay, so antak taluno journal ay titun ay ay ni Bible chang ay tima ka Bible chang ay tim ka ay 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 own word din ay ngay tu na ay shi na ay ay shi na ngay kan i a um dan ka ay zikani a direct word ay ngay kopino. 
a copy no din journalistic chu kila hin e machila da narani chapter khata hin topic tam topic an che tola kha topic in che hai ka point pakat pe nei onla ka kha su khan hi chang hin e machila ti kha in inang ni on word in ji khlang in ta in ji khlak zo khan hi chang hi kata ding in e machang kai na dia ti kha sisi no pokin ta line tam ji ka ngai na pani patung ahun to chuel khela in ji zo na khan nang ni ta dinga tra in tri kha midang ta ding in a tro yam ti kha in ngai tung in ta to chu zo midang ta dinga tra in tri ven chun chu i eshil lak dinga ni ka khata kha implication wider implication ai ti ni chule chun point patung zo poi mo apaka na chun a paraphrasing a thu a chang a ri lai ka poi mo apa ni na chun hi chang in im kan chu to ka ti kha poi mo chun apa thum na chun ilai chang hi ke chong ni lo midang ta din khoma i man tang kai poi dinga ti kha a ri shil a ri sa tu le just to journalize kan ni i hi nga va tho the tur citation zone commentary dictionary zone pin an no apa ti thu kha in textbook ni to pa cho pa ti thu va ti min ta hi ngai ngai tu peng peng ta a chang le i zing ka rin tho chang khoma mo tin pui don malam khoma ha ye chun boru tra hi malam khoma i pe di te tin ta khai ni min di te ta chang ina shri fi tum in trip nung kha ji kha in ta a chang chun chu tam de wei hung ji kha chang chun tam de wei ji no chang khu ana chu hi exercise ni le ji tam ta lu chu ji chu chu chung no ta a hun to kha in shri kha hi chang ina shri in 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 shri tum kha dong ji kin ta chu chu zo chun application le implication kha ji ding ani Okay, in three team, I hope you all understand. Okay, thank you. <coughs>